Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, then welcome. Today's pick a card reading is your secret thoughts about you right now. In front of me, I have three different options, each with a different number, color, and stone. Choose the one that really calls out to you. This is group one, group two, and group three. Okay, let's get started. Hey, group number one. Okay, so their secret thoughts about you right now. All right, so first let's take a look at the overall energetic connection between you guys. We have the shift. Okay, so what comes to me about that is that you and this person might have been like really getting along and like showing your interest in each other and then when the shift card pops up it's like something just shifted okay you could be getting that they've backed off or they're not talking quite the same okay something like that is coming through for this group so let's dive in even deeper with the message cards and their secret thoughts about you right now they say i meant what i said with that card, that tells me that they feel like you don't believe them. It's something that was said. So you two are coming across like you're not seeing eye to eye on something. But regardless, they say, I miss you. And they wonder, do you miss them? I want you. Okay, so it's pretty straightforward so far. Then we have strength, the ego. Okay, so what comes to me about that is when both people aren't displaying like how they really feel, whether it's through body language or through what they're saying. Okay, so it's like you both are kind of playing it cool right now with each other. Okay, that could be creating this shift between you. Even though deep down what's coming across is that they miss you, they want you. We also have a lot of eights, so that makes me feel like business, okay? So you guys, you could see each other at work or some kind of professional setting, which also makes it more likely that this person might feel like they have to keep a poker face and keep it cool between you guys, but deep down this is what I'm seeing they're feeling. They say, I am coming trust, okay? kind of showing that things aren't always what they appear so just because somebody appears like they've backed off or keeping it really neutral between you guys it doesn't mean that they aren't feeling this world of emotion underneath it all if i asked you to stay would you leave okay so when i see that card that tells me like this person really wonders like is this connection mutual do you want the same thing then they say i want you to choose okay so we started off more bold and confident so that tells me that this connection most likely started off more bold and confident it's almost as though both of you might have read into each other a bit wrongly and are viewing this not completely accurately so I feel like now I'm getting a bit more of an insecure energy coming through and then becoming more passive with the connection they say have I lost everything okay so now they're wondering like is this even repairable so definitely fear is coming through now I want a fresh start with you but regardless, this person still has hope for this connection. You guys might be seeing 555, 111, you know, combinations with eights, eights and ones. I still don't have all the answers. Okay, so right now they're kind of in this hangman energy where they've kind of surrendered to reality right now and they feel like, you know, I want this connection, but I'm going to leave it up to fate. Okay, so let's take a look even deeper with my cards. All right, so we have connected on the 5D. Okay, so regardless if you guys are talking to each other or seeing each other or not, it's like you two still feel very connected to each other. You have that unspoken connectedness. 
Tell me again that we'll be lovers and friends. Okay, so this person wants some kind of a reassurance from you. I feel like it's your turn to like make it known that yes, you're still interested regardless if you two got into it or just didn't see eye to eye on something. Whatever the disconnect is, they like want you to make it known. They say, do you feel the same? Okay, so they're coming right up. Whenever I see a question early on in my message cards, it tells me this person isn't messing around. They're not gonna play it cool for long. They're going to reveal more of how they feel about you because they don't wanna lose you. I've never met anyone like you, right? And they feel like they would be a fool to let this connection go. This is too risky. Okay, so them saying that, take that with a grain of salt. I feel like it's going to be different for all of you on why that is. And for some of you, I don't even feel like that message pertains to you. Would you want to hear from me? Okay, so something's got this person wondering and guessing and like at the edge of their seat and really wanting you to make it known. I try to keep this on the low, but but they can't, they can't help themselves. That's how into you they are, that they feel like it shows, you know, on their face, it shows in their body language, and they can't hold a grudge. What's a king without his queen? Okay, so that's this person revealing to you that try as they may, they try to act like not being with you doesn't bother them, but it absolutely does, and they don't wanna waste any more time. Also, okay, apply that however it works. If this is a girl you're wondering about, flip it. Take all your big plans and break them. Okay, so that, when I see this card, that's saying that this person wants to take a break in their routine of life and have a day spent with you with no distractions to get back to where they feel like this connection should be. Just give me a reason, just a little bit's enough. We're not broken, just bent, and we can learn to love again, okay? So this person's saying, like, despite what happened, I still have hope for this connection, and just give me a sign or a little something to go off of so I know that we can absolutely start again. But they're saying, so that's why I dream about you without taking any action right now. But I do feel like that way the cards are leaning as of right now, it's showing though that even though that's the case, this person does want to take some kind of action towards you and have a fresh start with you. But it's a general reading, so take it if it resonates. Okay, group number one, this is what I see for you. If this resonates, let me know in the comments. And if it does, don't forget to give it a like. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, feel free to anytime. You can email me your questions. That information is right here. Also, if you would like a permanent discount on my personal readings and or exclusive content on the connection with the person on your mind, feel free to join my Patreon. That information is also right there and it does help support my channel. Thank you all so much for being here. Bye guys. Hey, group number two. Okay, so their secret thoughts about you right now. Okay, so let's take a look at the overall energetic connection between you guys. We have, I know we need to talk, but I'm trying to get clear first. Okay, so that's an interesting way to start off this reading. So it sounds like there's that you both feel like you want to talk to each other, but you're just not right now, okay? So it leaves you both kind of on the edge of your seat type of feeling. All right, so let's dive even deeper with the message cards. They start off by saying, I'm sorry, okay? So something could have been said between you guys, you might have gotten into it, but for a lot of you, I'm feeling like that's not even the case, and the this person is sorry that they're not, haven't been able to move this connection further, even though you're both interested in each other. 
You have so many choices and options. Okay, when I see that right away, I get like six of wands vibes. This person definitely puts you guys on a pedestal. They think you're in a league of your own. They hope they measure up, which to me is silly because I can see with the bird's eye view here, you're both mutually interested in each other. So overall, I feel like your person's a confident person. It's just sometimes they get caught up in their head and they feel a bit insecure and think, wow, like you can have anybody. Why would you choose me type of vibe? Think before you act. Okay, this is them to themselves. That isn't necessarily to you. And then we have, I think we should slow down. Okay, so for some reason, this person is worried about taking this connection too quickly. And I don't feel like that has anything to do with you, but there's something else going on in this person's life currently, like some kind of an obstacle that is keeping them from completely allowing themselves and this connection to naturally progress. Okay. In the meantime, they say, listen to your heart. They want you guys to have some kind of like unconditional love for them that you won't judge this situation but instead you will trust the unfolding of it because for some reason this person is not in an ideal situation just allow this connection to unfold naturally then we have I worry about us a lot yeah because you know they're having to put this connection on hold when everything in them wants to move forward with it I just wish things were different. That's exactly what is coming through. They're in a less than perfect situation where they're not allowing right now. I've been seeing a lot of sevens lately. Sevens and ones are coming through. We have be more selfish. When I see this, that's this person to themselves saying, hey, I need to do what I need to do regardless of how it looks. But like, then they have that feeling of like, but I hope you'll wait. I hope you'll still be there. Even though I don't want you to wait for me necessarily. I'm open to compromise. So they want to meet you halfway. Okay. When they get clear and are able to communicate with you. Right now, they don't feel like they're in that place. So they're purposely keeping their distance, even though they don't want to. And then they say they want to start a family with you. Like literally, you guys are this person's ten of cups. They feel like whether you have a family together or not, they could mean also just you two, okay? You could be that family. Point is, they really do think you guys could be the one and they do want a future with you. So all this stuff right now that they're like going through is really kind of like, it's just, it's rough on them, okay? All right, so let's take a look even further with my cards. We have quit playing, I know you want me. Okay, so they feel like you guys are also kind of playing hard to get. And you could just be mirroring them because they're not just coming forward and, you know, going all out with this connection. They say we'll be together. Okay, I like how they are coming across more sure now. But regardless, you two are still mirroring each other. Okay, so you're both acting interested one minute and then kind of backed off the next. Okay, I see that like what I call the back and forth vibes. They say you're not going to hear from me anytime soon. Okay, and that's whenever you hear this video because it's timeless, but Either way, the theme is still, they don't want you to read into that negatively because if anything, it literally couldn't be further from the truth. As far as yes, they're interested. Yes, they think you could be the one. And then they say, I'm sorry, but I can't be with you right now is what this should say, okay? Either way, that's what's coming through. I got it bad for you. Okay, so this person definitely feels like everything about you is exactly what they want in a person. Looks, personality, energy, vibe. You are the full package. They literally feel like they dreamt you into existence. 
But at the same time, they're like, I wish I knew you wanted me. Like, they're not sure. Even though they start off like, quit playing, I know you want me. Because on some level, you both know. But at the same time, it's like, you know, in person, you're both playing. It's so cool that neither one of you are totally sure. I'm trying hard to act like not being with you doesn't bother me. Okay, so... You know, a part of them is a very logical person and like, they're like, I gotta look at reality and reality is we're not together right now. So, you know, part of them thinks I should be carrying on and another part of them is like, no, like I know deep down you're the one, I feel it, I trust my intuition and despite whatever I'm going through, I know we can make it. Okay, so then they say, don't think that I don't care because I do care so again they're trying to tell you that things aren't always what they appear no one makes me feel the way you do okay like point blank that's the point I want to marry you that's how much this person feels like you're the one yeah you're the one I want mic drop okay this person's like they want you to know, please don't judge the situation, the lack of action as meaning anything because it doesn't. They're trying to deal with what they need to deal with before they actually have a heart to heart with you. And they want you to listen to your heart and have that realize, and they want you to have that realization and that trust. Okay, group number two, this is what I see for you. If this resonates, let me know in the comments, and if it does, don't forget to give it a like. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, feel free to anytime. You can email me your questions and choose a payment option on Linktree. All that information is right here. Also, if you would like a permanent discount on my personal readings and or exclusive content on the connection with the person on your mind, feel free to join my Patreon. That information is also right here, and it does help support my channel. Thank you all so much for being here. Bye guys. Hey, group number three. Okay, so what are their secret thoughts about you? All right, so let's take a look at the overall energetic dynamic between you guys first. This person says, I've got a lot on my plate right now. Okay, so instantly what comes to me about that is this person is coming across like they are busy and you possibly haven't heard from them a whole lot. And they're saying this is basically why. Let's dive even deeper into what are their secret thoughts by looking at the message cards. Okay, so they start off by saying, I just want space. What's interesting about that to me though is the fact that I really don't feel like this person wants space from you. Like they feel like they have to have it due to whatever they're going through right now. Okay, so instantly I feel like their message to you is to not take it personally. Then we have one pentacle. So that also makes me feel like this person instinctually wants a fresh start with you or a real start with you. If you guys haven't actually given this connection a go yet, I feel the same way. Okay, so they're saying despite how things look right now, like I feel the same that you do. Okay, then we have a big no. So this person is definitely putting a halt on this connection, even though they're coming across like this is what they want. And they say, I sometimes wonder if you care. Okay, so you guys are definitely have a lot of back and forth vibes going on. Like one minute, it's like this person is, yes, like this is what I want. The next minute, they're like backed off completely. It could be that you and this person possibly get into it a lot, okay? Kind of like pettiness going on here. Just something where it's like, it just has one of those feelings of like, you two might not get along, but you can't let each other go either. It's interesting. Will you choose me? Interesting. So they want some kind of a reassurance that this is what you want. They're unsure for some reason. They say I'm manifesting you. <laughs> oh my goodness. You guys might be seeing 111, 222, 444 a lot, okay? Yeah, that's when you know, okay? This person's trying to manifest you. They want to hear from you. 
They say I'm too afraid to talk to you. Okay, so it's like something went down between you guys. I want to manifest you to come out and say that you are interested. This is what you want. All right. They say they're terrified. I feel like this person doesn't show it. So that's interesting that it's coming through here. But I do feel like, you know, they just, they don't want to get hurt and they want some kind of reassurance from you at this point. So they end this slew of messages with maybe, which is very like passive to me. Like the ball's in your court completely as far as this connection goes. This person's not going to make the first move or if they are, like with messaging you, they really want you to carry the connection. That's how much they want to have this reassurance that this is what you want. Take a look even further with my cards. They say I'm addicted to you. Yeah, that's what I was getting. So regardless if you two kind of get into it here and there, it's like there is no getting over you, okay? They're that interested in you. Go on, go on, leave me breathless, tempt me, tease me till I can't deny this. Okay, so you two have this unspoken, flirty, magnetism, chemistry, but they don't feel with anybody else, okay? I feel like you two can give each other a look and it's like you can communicate. When you're both in the room, nobody else is there type of vibe. Okay, so this person thinks back to that. All those moments with you that they just feel like, were the best times of their life, okay? I would low-key risk it all. Okay, so that's interesting to me that this person even considers like moving forward with you to be risky. So it's gonna be different for all of you on what that is exactly. So curious about you, okay, so this person just feels like there's many layers to you. And they just love getting to know you. They love spending time with you. They feel like you make any moment feel fun. It's like they really want to explore this connection with you. I don't understand what went wrong between us. Well, the thing that I'm picking up on right away is that you two come across like you could definitely have like different opinions and have this a bit of pettiness with each other, okay? A bit of mirroring back, like if somebody switches up how they're texting or messaging, it's coming across that the other is going to mirror that. Like that kind of thing. But I do feel like you're both in this though. I wonder if you're happy without me. Okay, so they might be checking out your social media and seeing you posting like you're living your best life and wonder like, do you even miss them? You know, that kind of thing. They say quit playing and come back. So there's another part of them that feels like it doesn't matter what you post. I know you miss me, you know, so this person goes back and forth. There is something about you that I can't explain. Yep, they don't feel it with just anybody. So they're like, that alone makes this connection like a unique gem that they feel like they'd be a fool to let go of. There is no escaping you when everything reminds me of you. Yeah, this person's got a bad for you. Okay, like they said, they're addicted. They can't let this connection go, even if they tried. I get so excited at the thought of seeing you. Yeah, they do. And they, they're like, I don't feel this with anybody else. My feelings for you are growing deeper. Yeah, this person's in this deep, okay? So like I said, it doesn't matter how much time has gone by. They can't stop thinking about you. Anytime they see a message from you or see you in person is like the highlight of their day. How would you respond if you heard from me? Okay, so they're throwing the ball in your court with that one because they really do wish you guys would come, you guys would come forward and just like admit that this is what you want. And then they act as though that would give them the green light to just move forward with this connection once and for all. Move past whatever and start again. 
Okay, group number three, this is what I see for you. If this resonates, let me know in the comments. And if it does, don't forget to give it a like. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, feel free to anytime. You can email me your questions. My information is right here. Also, if you would like a permanent discount on my personal readings and or exclusive content with the connection with the person on your mind, feel free to join my Patreon. That information is also right here. And it helps support my channel. Thank you all so much for being here. Bye, guys.